This is Mujib from North Country Kettlebells. Today I'm going to be talking about the goblet clean and the specifics that go into doing safe and effective goblet cleans. The goblet clean specifically is the way that we're going to get the kettlebell from the back swing position into the goblet rack. Uh, the clean just meaning it's going to be one clean movement to get it from that back swing into that rack position. The rack position is going to be consistent for each one of these goblet cleans and that's a little bit of what we're going to talk about today. One of the greatest benefits of doing goblet cleans is that it's going to let the body get totally comfortable and familiar with the basic swing mechanic that goes into powering the kettlebell with the hips, the glutes, and the abdomen. If I'm looking at how to safely get a pretty heavy kettlebell up into the goblet position, uh, the clean is going to be the way that I'm going to do that and my proper clean is going to dictate how heavy of a weight I'm going to feel comfortable using or how many reps I'm going to feel comfortable doing if I'm doing a clean between each one of the squats or something like that. So the first component when we're doing our goblet cleans is the fact that the clean is 95% identical to a kettlebell swing. The only difference is really going to be the path of the kettlebell on the way up. So when I'm doing my kettlebell swings, I'm swinging the kettlebell out in front of me. And when I'm doing my kettlebell cleans, once my hips drive, I'm bringing the kettlebell directly up my body, a palms width distance from my face. It's the difference between throwing something away from myself and throwing something directly up into the air. So if I'm using a kettlebell swing as my analogy, I'm going to swing the kettlebell away from my body, but with a clean, I'm going to keep that kettlebell close to my body as if I'm basically just tossing it straight up in front of me. So the second thing to remember with our goblet clean is that the hips are going to power that entire movement. The arms are really just working to guide the kettlebell into that strong rack position and working to be in line so that when the kettlebell lands, it's landing on my frame versus just landing out in my hands. So my hips are gonna power that movement. My arms are really just gonna work to guide the kettlebell into position. The third component that we're gonna talk about is the path of the movement. Uh, that's both on the way up and the way down. So once my hips drive to power that movement, uh, my arms are really just going to be guiding that kettlebell straight up in front of my face, again, so that I could speak through that kettlebell handle when I get into that rack position. And consistently, every time that I drive my hips, that kettlebell should essentially land in that same place each time. On the way down, when I go into my next clean, I'm gonna put it right back on that same path of my regular back swing, just like when I'm doing my two-handed swings, and it's gonna go back into that same position above my knees. What I like to imagine is that if I were to draw a shape that mimics the path of travel for my kettlebell clean, it's gonna be a capital D, whereas when I go out, the kettlebell is going out and away from me, and then when I come up, that kettlebell is coming straight up. So just like a capital D, I have a straight line close to my body and an arc that goes off of my body. So that's essentially how we're looking at that clean. It's gonna come straight up and clear the face. And then on the way down, it's going in an arc that's gonna calmly go right into my backswing. That leads me into the fourth and final component that we're gonna talk about today when it comes to the goblet clean. And that is going into that consistent backswing each time. Now, a specific mechanic with the kettlebell clean, the goblet clean, is that we're gonna utilize the backswing mechanic, we're gonna utilize the arc of the kettlebell travel, and we're gonna utilize all the momentum that's created with those two things to power the next clean. So this isn't a dead hang clean that we're talking about, we're talking about a backswing, a momentum-based clean. I'm not dropping the kettlebell straight down, instead I'm putting it back onto that arc of travel of my two-handed swing so that I can go back into my backswing and that can look identical to my two-handed swing. So again, at my backswing, the handle of the kettlebell is above the knees, my arms are close to the body, upswing the kettlebell comes straight up the body, and then when I go back into my next clean, again I'm going right back into that arc, right back into that strong backswing to be powered into the next kettlebell clean that I'm going to do. Try it out, see how you like it. Remember, just train for effectiveness and train for safety. This is Mujib from North Country Kettlebells talking about goblet cleans.